successful rollout of NGPON2 technology in Europe depends on a technology evolution path to help with faster deployment of new technologies in the future. That's the view expressed earlier today at the FTTH conference in Valencia by Anthony Clarkson, technologist at Optical Transceiver Specialist ProLabs. He joins me now. Anthony, tell me why this is so important, this evolution. So evolution is very important in the NG.2 um, rollout because today it's not really commercially viable to roll out NG.2. The technology is there, but at a price point that it doesn't make it worthwhile. So people are not rolling out NG.2 and they're not going to roll it out this year and they're probably not going to roll it out next year. So what we need to do is make sure that there's a, a model in place that you can roll out GPON today and maybe XG or XGS PON in the coming years and then still be able to roll out your NG.2 without having any impact on your existing users. And where do ProLabs come into that? Have you got a solution to help them along that path? So, yeah, we're looking at a couple of things. The coexistence module is key to our strategy, which is a multiplexer that allows you to build the uh, different technologies on top of each other. But also it's about preparation in the rest of your network. So whether that's your core network, your edge network, needing to upgrade to 10 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig links, we've got solutions in all those spaces. And this is your, I think, second year at FTTH conference. How's it been going? Yeah, it is. That's right. It's, we, we came along last year in Marseille for the first time, and um, it's been good. We've, we've met with existing customers. We've met new customers. We're fairly new into the FTTH arena, but we've got a lot of products that fit in this space. So it's great to catch up with existing guys and some of the new, new faces that we've met as well. So it's been a good show for us. Great. Well, we'll keep an eye on uh, NG Pond 2 developments in the meantime. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.